everybody, it's Liz with Love here and welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back if you are a regular here. Today I am attempting the challenge that I feel like everybody has been doing on YouTube lately and that is the Each Room is a Different Pack challenge. Now I fully expect this to be an absolute disaster. I absolutely expect that this will turn out to be really awful and <laughs> I just want to have some fun with it, you know? no expectations really <laughs> so i loaded up this lot here in willow creek one of the empty ones and i'm just kind of now placing down rooms which i'm gonna use for this build it's gonna be well i, I would like to tell you what sort of build it's gonna be but truth is you'll never know <laughs> we won't know what this will turn out to be until it is finished and I'm kind of scared, I'm not gonna lie, I am a little terrified. Alright, so I have now roofed this um, beautiful, beautiful build that we have here. <laughs> and I have kind of changed up the floor plan from what I showed you just a second ago. So this is going to be our kitchen and dining, this is going to be one bedroom, this is gonna be the living room with a hallway, which I'm probably gonna furnish the hallway with the living room because it's connected. This is going to be the entryway, this is going to be a bathroom, and this is going to be another bedroom. So this is probably going to be a kids room, this is going to be a master bedroom, but it's going to depend on what packs we get for them. I have the James Turner generator on here, and I have selected the packs that I do not have as well, so that it doesn't generate something that I don't have. So let's see what our pack for the outside will be. Cats and dogs! Okay, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a very good choice. <laughs> So let's filter by pack, cats and dogs. We've got trees, guys. We've got trees. This is a big tree. Where do we put it? Let's size it down. Trees are like my ultimate guide to landscaping. If there's something hideous, just cover it up with a tree. It's gonna work. <laughs> Okay, I have overestimated this pack. This is the only plant we have, and then we have the dog and the cat. <laughs> and can I use terrain paint? I don't think I can use any terrain paint because it's not in the pack. Oh no. I could use flooring though. Is there any flooring? There's some woods. And the woods, that's it. Okay. We do have a fence though, which is great because that means we can do this. No, with the darker one. I do like this cats and dogs fence. And I know I say this quite a bit, guys. I do use cats and dogs a lot. It's my probably my favorite pack for building because I do use a lot of items that um, look kind of like grandma-esque, cat lady-like. That's what I mean. And let's add some columns as well. This is turning out to be quite a good like suburbanish house. I didn't expect that. I expected to get like something like toddler stuff for the outside. <laughs> so of course windows. We've got a plenty of cats and dogs windows. I feel so lucky and I'm kind of afraid about when my lack is gonna run out, you know. Should we go? Yeah, let's go more basic because I feel like we are going to need the basic <laughs> when we get on the inside because I don't know what's gonna happen next. So. Let's just use the basic we have now, so that if we have anything that's way too extra later on, it's not going to be too much of a disaster. Okay, let's see what we can do about the walls. Oh, thank god. I was kind of afraid for a second there that we're not going to get any walls, and I kind of started panicking for a minute, but it's going to be fine. Let's, let's just maybe do like a white one. Again, keeping it basic because... That's what we are striving for with this challenge. Basic is as good as it gets. <laughs> you know what's really annoying me? It's the fact that we don't have the roof trim and that we have the default roof texture. That's the two things that are just making this build really, really annoy me. <laughs> I want to change them so bad. But I mean, some of the rules say that you can change it to base game if you don't have that thing in the pack but you know what I'm just gonna go by if there if it's not in the pack I'm not using it <laughs> oh, 
Oh, we could have pet obstacle course in the back. Alright. Okay, let's do that. You know, I think I kind of made a mistake when I started doing this because I made this way too big. Like, this should have been so much smaller. I don't know what I was thinking because I usually don't have the problem of making my builds too big. But, yeah, here we, here we are. <laughs> okay, so I think that is what we have for the outside. Do I think it looks hideous? Yes, I do. But it is not as much of a disaster as I expected. I actually found quite a few plants, like these flowers in the bucket, and there's actually a cat mailbox. There's not an outdoor bin, so I guess we're not getting that. But there's, there's quite a few all right items. We've got quite a bit of trees. The outside has some plants in the bag, and there's like a little patio area, which is not empty, so that's a good thing. <laughs> And I, of course, like, I don't have my first pet stuff, so the only pack that has items for pets is this one. So I just put all the pet items outside. I mean, poor pet, they have to <laughs> stay outside all the time. And there's not even a cat door because I didn't have a <laughs> space for it. But, um, you know, it makes it not empty, and I think that's quite alright. And. It really annoys me that I don't have any terrain painting to use here because like just the thought of the table being on that grass there and no terrain paint around the building and things like that. It just makes me want to rip my hair out. <laughs> but, you know, it was cats and dogs, so not as bad as I expected. So let's go inside and move on to the little entryway that we have here. Alright, so let's pick another pack and let it be a good one, please. Toddler stuff. Oh, like is that is that it? <laughs> okay, I didn't know there was so little things in toddler stuff. All right. Um, do we have doors? <laughs> no. So, do we have floors? No. Do we have a wallpaper? No. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun one. So yeah, as I said, I'm not going to. I'm trying to make this as hard for myself as I can and as entertaining for you to watch as I can. So I am, oh there's rugs, I could use rugs. Um, I'm not gonna be able to change a pack if it just doesn't fit the room. Like if I pick, I don't know, a romantic garden for the kitchen, that's it. <laughs> there's gonna be a romantic garden kitchen. <laughs> hey, maybe they have a grill that they take outside. Hey, there, there's lighting. There you go. Okay, let's add some chairs. I did add the grill because maybe they like take it out for barbecues or something like that. Um, maybe they've got some, I don't know, there's no table so let's just dump these plates on the ground. <laughs> and there's no door. There's nothing else I could do with this room, I think. So yeah, I, I guess we're just going with this. It's a very cheerful toddler stuff. Oh wait, I, I want to use the pillows. I love these pillows. This is like the item that makes toddler stuff worth it. <laughs> I mean, build it by wise. It's great for toddler clothes and things like that. Okay, yeah, that's our very cheerful toddler stuff entryway. <laughs> now let's do... what shall we do first? You know what, let's do a bedroom next. Okay, so let's generate another one. Please, James Turner, don't kill me. <laughs> Backyard stuff. Oh no. <laughs> so for our beautiful bedroom, we won't have a bed. But you know guys, I said I'm not backing up on this. So this is just gonna be a backyard stuff room. That's gonna be a not so bedroom, but you know what? Let's make like a bed out of <laughs> tables. Okay, so that's our <laughs> table <laughs> bed. Let's add some flowers, you know, so that it's more cheerful. <laughs> and maybe like a little sitting area. You know, you, can, you can't sleep on the tables, but you can nap <laughs> on this. Okay, let's just add a lot of plants. There's no lights, but you know, the plants do light up the room. <laughs> Oh gosh, I really hope we get something good when we get to the living room because if we don't, 
that's the room that has like most of the doors so if we don't have a good one for that we're just not gonna have doors for any of these rooms <laughs> now let's add some lemons on the table here let's add some ketchup and mustard <laughs> oh yeah we have a light wait there's lights why did I lie there's lights we have these lanterns and we have Okay, there's something else, right? Oh yeah, these also light up, so maybe this can be like a night light. <laughs> you know what? Backyard stuff? I mean, it's obviously not bedroom stuff, it's called backyard stuff, but... Wait, there's, there's a lot of lights. I didn't think there would be so many lights in this pack. And since we don't have any flooring, we are going to have a gigantic frog rug. Or wait, should we have a flower rug instead? Let's do a flower rug size it up yeah <laughs> now I think that this is very gorgeous and very creative I don't know about you but I am loving this challenge <laughs> oh wow that's big let's size it down okay I think that is it for our <laughs> backyard stuff bedroom <laughs> and I left a space for a door because hopefully we'll get a door for this okay so let's pick another one Oh wait, I didn't... Oh, I forgot to choose which room that's gonna be. Discovery diversity. Should I draw again? No, let's do it generate again. I'm gonna do the kitchen and I'm gonna generate again because I said that this would be like a hardcore version of the challenge. So, for the kitchen. No, we already had backyard stuff. I'm not going to doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that again. Vintage glamour. For the kitchen! <laughs> um, let's assume they're juiceaholics. Oh god, why do, why do they keep picking stuff packs? <laughs> what have I done? Okay, um, so there's no counters, but there's desk tables, so let's make that into counters. We have this light, that's a good kitchen light, isn't it? Hey, we have this lady, this will, lady will just you know, brighten up this space. You know what, guys, one thing that I, I, I love vintage glamour, don't take me wrong, but for the curtains, I wish we would have gotten like one rod that goes in the middle because it annoys me that we don't have that middle rod and if we have a wider window, this just doesn't work. Okay, so what do we, yeah, we have the alcoholic globe, so that's the only kitchen item in this so that's where you get your hunger up and i do know that the tables are glitching like crazy but you know what i don't care <laughs> let's do like a little bar table stool i don't know let's do a fireplace in the kitchen why not <laughs> yeah let's have some flowers here maybe they're maybe they eat flowers you know don't judge them these tables are driving me crazy. Can I do something about it? Lower your expectations and then lower them again. Should we have a mirrored backsplash? <laughs> now let's do a mirrored backsplash. I'm gonna add another lamp because why the hell not? Maybe this can be a chopping board, you know? <laughs> and oh yeah, we can have a clock and we can have a, we can have a chandelier. This is a good kitchen. There's light, you won't chop off your finger. Oh wait, maybe they use the fireplace to cook their food, because you know, it's vintage, and in the vintage times, they didn't have electricity or gas stoves, so maybe these people just eat marshmallows and they roast them in the fireplace. <laughs> okay, that is it for our vintage glamour kitchen. <laughs> Should I put in another globe? Maybe let's put in another globe because, you know, they're gonna be hungry. All they have to eat are marshmallows roasted on the fireplace and alcohol. Okay, now there you go. Two globes. <laughs> okay, now... So the next pack is going to be for the dining space. And if this pack doesn't come up as like something that's not a stuff bag. I think I'm gonna rage quit, so <laughs> let's see. Vampires! Okay, that's better. It has to have doors, right? You can at least put the doors down. 
Alright, we've got our doors. <laughs> hey, it kind of matches the um, vibes we're going for in our vintage glamour kitchen, so I don't know what you're complaining about. <laughs> oh, if only we've gotten this for the kitchen, there's kitchen counters. <laughs> but no? Hey, they're alcoholics, right? They can have a bar. Let's give them a bar. <laughs> you don't have bar stools? Hey, maybe, maybe that, that's the story. They're vampires, of course. They don't eat food, so why would they have a kitchen that works, right? Oh yeah, some chandeliers. Yes, please. <laughs> we can have some candles on the table. But this, oh wow, that's a skull, okay. This is just class at its best. Oh wait, do we have wallpaper and flooring here? Oh yeah, I love this vampire's flooring, uh, but we can only have it for half the room. <laughs> okay, so I think that is it for our vampire's dining room. And look at this, and then look at this, come on. It, it's <laughs> it goes together so well, doesn't it? <laughs> no, but I'm actually happy that for the first time in this house we got a wallpaper and a flooring, so... So let's pick a pack for the living room. Now, I'm really gonna be crossing my fingers that this is something good, so please don't disappoint me. Not another stuff pack, please. Backyard stuff. What is it with your backyard stuff? That's the third time! James Turner, what are you doing? <laughs> Fix your generator! <laughs> come on, come on. Something good. Laundry day stuff. <laughs> Wait, there's doors! Now, laundry day is actually one of the fuller packs, so. This is actually probably going to be okay-ish, like it's not going to be good, but it's not going to be a disaster like, you know, our backyard stuff bedroom. I mean, there's not a floor either, and there's not a wallpaper crate. <laughs> so we have another wallpaper and flooring less room, but we do have things like sofas. And yeah, I guess, this, I guess our living room can have some laundry in it. Let's. Let's have a little laundry area here in the hallway, shall we? I think I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do for the rugs is I'm just gonna put down a plenty of rugs so that you can't see that there's no flooring. Now, that's what I call class. <laughs> we can have some decor, which is great. We don't always get that with packs. There's quite a bit of plants everywhere, so maybe they're just like very nature loving and they don't really like technology because I don't think we've gotten a single piece of technology in any of these packs. So I'll just put down a bunch of plants. Let's put these down because why not? This challenge is becoming a bit of a joke, I, I am realizing that, but I'm just going with it because <laughs> I'm a comedy channel now apparently. <laughs> uh, remember the beginning of this challenge like 20 minutes ago when I was saying that we're going for neutral because it's gonna go with everything. <laughs> because I was still like hoping I could make this look all right. You know, maybe they, maybe these people just love laundry and they're vampires and they hate technology. That could work, right? Do you know somebody like that? <laughs> oh, I wanted to place a um, you know, clothesline on top here as like they would look at hanging laundry instead of a TV, but the clothesline have to be outside. <laughs> but wait, wait, wait up a second, I've got an idea. There you go, we have a TV! <laughs> okay, but don't tell me you've never like watched laundry. <laughs> These people just love it more than anybody else. <laughs> Okay, now that is our laundry day living room and I'm especially proud of our little TV. <laughs> now the next one is, shall we go for bathroom? <laughs> okay, I am now fully believing that this generator hates me, so tiny living for the bathroom. <laughs> I think I was getting my hopes too high up when we <laughs> were doing the outside with the cats and dogs and we actually had stuff, okay. The good thing is, there is a sink and a toilet, so they're, they can actually functionally, this is all they need. There's not a shower, is there? No. But, you know, they, they don't need it. They technically don't need it. Okay, let's put a light down. Do we have a flooring? No. Do we have a wallpaper? 
course not, it's a stuff pack. Now, if you have never wanted to have a TV, opposite to your toilet so that you can sit on the toilet and watch the TV, you are lying to me. Have you ever wanted to nap in your bathroom? Well, there you go. No, you can't. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm gonna put a sofa down here because, you know, some people have sofas or like ottomans in their bathrooms. There's gonna be a desk because, you know, how often do you get to do work in your bathroom? I don't know about you, but like, I have work on my phone. Okay, now, I think that if you wouldn't want to have this bathroom in your house, you're lying to me. <laughs> because there is a toilet which is looking straight at your beautiful TV, as well as a bookcase, so you have a nice selection of reading material while you do your business. You also, wait, let me change the swatch of this. You also have a beautiful modern sink, and you have a desk so you can work from the bathroom, and of course you have a sofa so that you can relax in your bathroom. Like, this is the best room in the house, and this is as good as it gets, guys. Like, it is <laughs> the most chaotic mixture of <laughs> packs and items that you could ever imagine. Okay, we have one more room to go. This is gonna be a bedroom and I don't think this is gonna be anything good because we have established that James Turner hates me. All right, the last roll for the bedroom and if I get a back here stuff again, I'm gonna scream. Stitch a living, okay. Okay, so we have our flooring. We have our wallpaper, which is a little moldy, but does the job. Uh, <laughs> and we have light, so that is the best that it's gonna get with this challenge, I think. <laughs> so let's pick a bed, shall we? We have two, three, three beds to pick from. Well, technically four, but one of them is just, you know, a older futon. And since we have no budget limits, let's go for the expensive 560 simoleon futon. <laughs> and I also love these side tables. These side tables are really great. I don't build modern when, when I do, I always use these side tables. Now, we've got side tables, we've got a bed. Guys, this is turning out really good. <laughs> we've got a plenty of art as well. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in City Living. Like, don't, don't get me wrong, I like City Living. It's one of my favorite packs. It's probably my absolute favorite gameplay-wise. But I forgot how much stuff there is in it. It's so good. <laughs> the bin in the bedroom is just making me laugh so hard. But we have to have a bin. Like, otherwise, it they won't have anywhere to throw their stuff in, you know? Uh, wait, could we mask the bin? <gasps> wait, so technically there is a bin, but you can't see it. We've got a plenty of plants. This is good. There's a lot of stuff in it. Like most of this stuff that we're using here is very rational, except like our bin and things like that. But you know, you gotta have a bin. Don't take my bin. Okay, so let's put some stuff on the table. We have a bubble blower. Is there anything else that we can put on the tables? There's a golden fruit bowl. Okay, I mean. Why not? <laughs> I can have this guy. Okay. Yeah, let's have him. Maybe they like him, so they want him to watch over them as they sleep. This is a weird vampire, laundry-obsessed family who likes to be watched by statues when they sleep. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think we are done here. <laughs> so, shall we take a tour? <laughs> We have this gorgeous cats and dogs looking house. From the outside there is a beautiful array of trees and literally no painting on the terrain whatsoever so that it looks ridiculous and like I made it when I was 10. We do have this beautiful pet area but there is no sign of a pet in the rest of the house. And when we walk in we have the truly cheerful, truly gorgeous toddler stuff entryway with a lot of color and uh, a little less taste. <laughs> then we walk through our beautiful laundry area into a laundry day living room, which I don't know about you guys, but I'm still proud of this. <laughs> I'm still proud of putting the washing machine up as a TV. <laughs> 
you can go into this beautiful bedroom which will um, surely not be as comfortable as your regular bedroom but it is truly outdoorsy, colorful and cheerful. Then you can go to the bathroom which is the most luxurious bathroom you could ever imagine. You can watch TV while you're on the loo, you can just relax on a sofa, you can do your work because you've got a desk in your bathroom. <laughs> Then let's move on to our kitchen. In our kitchen, we don't actually have any food prep space or any way to prepare food. Besides our alcoholic globes, a bar and a fireplace. So you can roast marshmallows and drink. That's it. But we have established after this that we have a family of vampires living here. So that is why they don't actually need any food. They just, you know, bring their guests here and the guests are the food. <laughs> and from there we can move on to a... Um... <laughs> Am I the weird one for thinking this is probably the worst room in the house because it looks the most regular? <laughs> yeah, this is just our city living bedroom and it actually looks quite okay besides that there is a statue watching you and there's a bin in uh, the suitcases. <laughs> now guys, that is it for our each room is a different pack build. I'm gonna screenshot this so that I can add the screenshots uh, to Twitter as well when I'm sharing this video and I hope you had a laugh. I did. I really enjoyed making this video because I always create builds that are so pretty and I don't want to call my builds pretty. That's kind of pretentious but they are so um you know i'm meaning to make them look pretty and this was just an amazing break from that <laughs> and i love how goofy this was and how much fun i had so i hope you had fun as well and thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and i'll talk to you in the next one bye